Hey, here's Joe again, and welcome back to Elden Ring, where we, in the last episode, found this Carrion Study Hall on our way to explore Eastern Lyurnia, the Eastern Shore of Lyurnia, and let's try to explore this today. Someone died here, great. Examine pedestal. Something fits. Okay, we'll have to return with something. Be wary of sorcerer, says it. Front of the elevator. Item on the other side? Nope. Always have to shake both sides if, if a path diverges. And... Fuck. <gasps> that was the right notion. It was the right notion to jump there, but... Uh, probably should have used the jump button. Uh, we'll do it. We do it now. Death ahead. Are you certain about that? Okay, that's for later. Why does that exist? There was something weird going on there. Please don't put my stuff on the on the thing. Ah, uh, dead. Yeah, we had half a level on my body because of the uh, Knight's Cavalry that we defeated near the Town Gate Bridge Grace in the last episode. And pull the lever to get it back down. <clears throat> okay. Getting Duke's archives or uh, great archives vibes. Why is it always Edge? Yeah. Be wary of sorcerer, they said. Good luck. Uh. Okay, this looks like a dead end. Ambush. Ooh. Those don't look nice. Let's check out damage. What the fuck are you? The fingers, huh? And since they have fingers, I'm pretty certain they have a grab attack. The mutual head. Oh. There's another one, but that one will just drop into the same water we saw before. Why was there a window to jump into this water? Like, that looks so important down there. But apparently that's not a place we can go to. Let's go the lower way first. That's a body of a guy. Up? Yeah. It's a body of the guy lying on the ceiling. Okay, so we'll have to keep 
gravitational bullshittery in mind. Oh yes, Sage. I see your head, I see what you're doing. Will he also teleport? Good. Preceptor Miriam. Great. I hate that spell already. Teleport. She's over there now. Preceptor Miriam, huh? Fucking invaders. Doesn't necessarily need to be an invader type enemy. Like this doesn't necessarily count as an invasion. Yeah, I thought so. Pull them. Pull them. Bullshit. I said X. It aborted. I, I slipped down this tiny ledge and it freaking aborted the, the flask usage again. Enemies are difficult enough on their own. Like they they are beefy. Okay. Something very important seen. Can stagger them like Dark Souls C 3 crap enemies. Okay. Bullshit. She teleported up there. Need more flasks for this. Didn't expect monsters. Yeah, I see those monsters. Get me? No. Okay. Hey, girl. Move them down the stairs. I assume this is the item. The item we up get up here is the item we are supposed to place. Hey! Aggro. Are we safe here because of the stairs? Seems like it. But I always went down. Is there? Okay. 
isn't because I'm down the stairs here. Okay. Oh, freaking hell. Go towards me properly. Good. By the, by the way, she's cheating. If I summon these guys, uh, we get five of them and can't resummon them every now and then. We only get one summon circle every now and then. Where did she move? Carrying glintstone staff, that's not the item. She didn't move backwards, okay. Oh, God. Mage or mage, so to speak, mage. Dastard ahead. Assume she's gone further. Oh no, we're not going rafter routes. Okay, I see her. this already. I hate this. Don't want to have to refight all this. That's the main problem here. Like, I'm thinking like, do I just chicken out? Do I just chicken out? Problem is, she will summon again. As soon as I move closer. Oh, man. Stop spamming that spell. Use your other spells. Move away. Or closer to me. Fucking hell yes. Whew. Magic downpour. Okay, we get her sorcery. And mm, no refill because we are in a cave or place. I uh, know, uh, SS refill, uh, flask refill. Summon a magic mask that sprays projectiles over area. Yeah. I mean, let's read upon the law of one of these for once. Because we didn't do for, for these, for example. Uh, this one. Said to have been taught by the Crystallians to mark the swearing of the old Concord. So Crystallians... There's something about Crystallians and so on Concords. And they are maybe when we find Crystallians we can... Get to understand more of this. The second, I see a second preceptor. Uh, we're definitely resetting back. I think she was not. She was like supposed to to lure me backwards through this entire area with all these summons. Pretty certain of that. No. Lie ahead, yeah. Great. Good.
Good. What did I even get, pick up there? A uh, rune item, I think. A rune item, I think. Oh, it's the chandeliers I'm hearing swinging. I hear, I hear them swinging. Okay. Oh, that's enough souls to, to be actually worth it not going into the rafters like an idiot. Revenge or oh, revenge. Be wary of red. I assume others must have died to her attacking them. You can jump onto the chandeliers. This isn't useful, but you can. Four attacks for a singular red. Are you crazy? There's reds above me. What does this even reach? Is there another ladder? Like, let's, let's just think about this for a moment. Everything leads directly into dead ends. Ah, there's the letter. I assume this is a liar. Yep. The wall is a liar. One time, at some point, will be the right thing to tell. There's another person upside down on the rafters. I see two rats. Three rats. Okay, there's a singular item that we're supposed to get here. Where's this throwing knives? I think it aggroed. So crazy. There's just a singular item, nothing more. Okay. Stop. Stop. Lock onto the thing I'm aiming at, thank you. My god. Okay, the last item in here is Cerulean Seed Talisman. Okay, Talisman at the end makes sense. Um, no need to roll against every wall here. I assume we cannot teleport. We can. That was stressful, my god. Preceptor Miriam, what an asshole character. Tell me about the talisman that we just got. Boost FP and restoration from Flask of Cerulean Tears. Aha, uh -huh. that's your Estus ring and Ashen Estus ring from Dark Souls 3. It's, it's useful that they exist. Uh, not so for me right now. I don't need that. Uh, I have like... My flask is plus 5 and neither uh, life nor uh, mind have been leveled enough for that to be... Uh, for that ring to be worth it. Back to morning so that we can see enough during our... 
exploration. And we want to choose cross this way. Uh, towards uh, the water again. And then actually I want to ride along here to that cave. Because that cave looks like uh, the markings that we had on a map for mines. And mines give upgrade materials. There's of course way more to explore on this eastern shore. Um, by the way, I'm already 100% uh, certain this will be a 200 episode let's play meaning 200 hours uh, which would be crazy because I played some big ass games on this channel like uh, cyberpunk I did a completionist playthrough of there's actually nothing here oh there is there's at least something here. This is called... Eastern Lernia Lake Shore. Yeah, I knew I was on the Eastern Shore, but thank you for reassuring me. Let's try to go just along the edges and not... I'm not entering the swamp yet. Like, the, this swamp with, like, the fog effects and... Uh, and the trees and generally not being able to look more further ahead than 20 meters this is just bound to be a, a problem while exploration i'll be definitely looking at the map very much i see an item over there land squirt ashes ah these are land squirts then uh land squirts are supposed we, we have a note we bought a note telling us what to... Ah, we've been here. Good. Uh, we bought a note telling us... I mean, there's... There's a hut right there. Can't just not go... To... But this is the gate town. Let's leave the gate town for later. We'll find that hut again. Um... Uh, we bought a note telling us what to do against land squirts, and now we finally know what one is. Uh, it's one of them creatures uh, making everything poisonous around them. Uh, they are supposed, uh, it was told, uh, told in that message that they would uh, rupture if you poison them. So we have a good anti measure against them if we ever want to clear like a huge group of them, just ch chuck one. Uh, poison bomb with an AOE effect and kill all of them and then we can safely approach whatever item is there not that they are too difficult yeah so someone is fighting them we don't need to fight freaking Miranda flowers everywhere we don't need Miranda powder because we don't I mean we would need Miranda powder if we were to craft set uh, consumables. The crystals are getting bigger over here. Sunflowers for no reason. Huge chunk of crystal. That, by the way, looks very interesting. One of the slugs again. Ah, oh, it's just fireflies. Wow, how did I miss you? At least I got past your bullshit. For that. What the fuck is that thing? I mean, I, I see the flower. Why is there nothing here? I mean, there's a firefly right here. Visions of Crystal Dragon. Uh huh. 
There's an infinite poison Miranda right there at that gazebo. Meaning it doesn't stop poisoning, uh, poison spewing. Okay, there's more materials right there. I'm look. I'm on the lookout for for actual items, not these freaking slugs or fireflies. Yeah, yeah they are good to me. I I get that. Don't want to fight the guy with the big weapon. Okay, let's look at that gazebo. It's not too far out into the swamp. Yeah, this is your place to uh, go to farm glintstone fly fireflies. I assume it's crafting material for one of the glintstone sorcery things. This one's just broken. Nope, just more smithing stones, like in the last one of this kind that we found. I hear lobster. I heard something big, but actually there was nothing there. Uh, east, north, northeast towards the wall. And then follow the wall. Okay, that way. But wall still feels safe. The safe approach to to lakes is stick to the wall of the cliff that's next to the uh, lake, and you will not drown. And so far, it was right. Okay, we're di directly below the one thing that I marked that was guarded by one of those fire monk chariots. Haven't fought them yet, just seen them and read about them. And there is a freaking cave right there. Red jellies inside. Yeah, red jellies inside. Just want to look at this. That looks like a statue, but that's just a tree, isn't it? Yeah. These assholes again. Uh, we have their, found their spirit calling bells, so we know how they do it. That looks like a broken chapel over there. Oh, we have way closer up to Rhea Lucaria now. That's the gate that we can't go through, I think. The one where we need the glintstone key, which is sending us down here. Yeah, outside or inside? Let's go inside. Huh? I saw a cave with a red jelly behind it. There's the red jelly. Wrath. Okay, exploring along here so that I don't miss anything. Whoa! Ah, one of the walking mausoleums. Let's take care of the jellies first, though. Last time it took me like three minutes to. Just want to see whether they drop something. No item ahead. Yeah, if you approach one red jelly or the blue jellies around it get red. I thought so. But good to know that I'm right about red jellies and how they work. At least partly. Okay. So the last time it took like three minutes to break the stuff on the legs. And we actually don't really care about the freaking walking mausoleums especially since they have headless knights nearby and stuff what is you where are you leading me are you leading me to the thing that i marked on my map I 
are just leading me to what I think you are leading me to, then you are not needed. Where are we on the map? He might actually lead me where I think uh, I don't need to be led to. But we're definitely following him. The old hidden path. Okay. Here you say? Ah, stops. It's the hidden path, this one, which lets me approach the walking mausoleum on foot. Or what is what you want of me? You're going that way? Yeah, that's the cave that I marked. Okay. So we can take a few detours and doesn't hurt if he despawns. He's over there. Okay, so before getting the Morphe Mausoleum we can get our grace point at the beginning of the cave. That's good. Yeah, it's definitely going here. Precious item ahead, therefore seek boss. If only I had a magic butthole. Uh, it's stupid. It's it's a mine again, of course, which means that there will be drop off stuff immediately. Yep. Don't die now. Cracked crystal. Assume it's a material. Yep. It's a base material, I I guess, for uh, glintstone sorcery, like four sorcery, the ones uh, that the normal enemies are throwing at me. Okay, so far every one of these descents has been the same because they freaking copy pasted their caves. At least parts of them. Grace further in. Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. And that's what I wanted to look at. Uh, also, we'll definitely level up now. Because I don't know when we get 19k souls. Ah, I didn't level up after the Carrion Study Hall. But I also wanted to look at this. We have a few more smithing stones. Maybe it's time to level stuff up. Um, not here. I'm an idiot. We go here. I hope that this is a travel spot. Good that I sat down there. Okay, it respawns the correct things immediately. I just want to go out and level up my stuff. Also wanted to take care of that thing. Let's do that now. Let's do that now before we forget. So I assume you also have stuff on your legs. You don't. Keep you in place. Is it further up where I have to like free aim, hit it with spells? He doesn't have the same thing as the other one has. What does the message say? Dog. Thank you, message. Really helpful. I have no idea. 
Okay, the other one was straightforward. I just attacked it and something broke off. And then I thought, okay, what happens if something more broke breaks off? Uh, and then I just broke something more off. Okay. Uh, let's explore this inset of... Okay, we can come here from the top via some careful tombstone platforming. But we explored this. Let's explore to, until the next bridge so that we know the shoreline is explored to there. Because I'm pretty certain that... Yep, yeah, that's another gate bridge thingy. We moved there? I think I read it. I mean, we would even get... Uh, huh? Some somber smithing stones. Making it worth it to upgrade my offensive weapon, even if it's... Okay, this bridge is also broken. Okay, we explored exactly up onto the bridge, which is a good rem uh, point to be... It's a good memorable point. <clears throat> I like the fast travel back to Round Table Hold. It's super easy. And super clear to me. Um, do we still have that item that I wanted to give to Seln like ages ago? Yes. So let's go to Seln first. Ay, 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 ay. There you are. Shall we commence? Give this. Is that a scroll? Very well. Hmm, this is sorcery with which I'm not entirely unfamiliar. It's good. I'll be sure to incorporate it into one of your lessons. Never lose that inquis... So we got more stuff here unlocked, which we don't care about because... I don't know what to level. There's so many things that I want to level. Like, I want to level Int, I want to level Arcane, I want to level Dex, I want to level Endurance, Mind and Vigor. And Faith, of course. Um, for now, let's level Faith. And I want it YXA. And we're... It's, it's so great. It's such a nice fast teleport. I assume nothing changed here. There's no real need to, to talk to all of those guys again. So let's just look at, for example, Freedom. this. You here for spirit too? We don't have one yet. Special Ashes. When did we get Banished Knight Angvil plus one? Angvil the Banished Knight, one of the two knights dubbed the wings of the storm. Despite his banishment, he rejected the invitation of the grace-given lord, instead keeping watch over a masterless castle for many years, gaining renown as a hero of the fringes. When did we get that one? Okay. Hmm. I don't think these all are worth it like maybe the cadence cell sword one because this single one will have way more health than these standard soldiers okay we want to try out banished knight angvil and loot of the atlas again to see which one of those we're upgrading well i took you no matter lay out your own and then we want to upgrade. Could have freaking done this ages ago. Okay. At least 2 plus 8, my sword. And then we can take the seer to plus 5. Good. So the seal at, at plus 5 has 151 scaling. And my other seal uh, that I had used before had 
Okay, we are now one uh, scaling better and the black flame sorcery that I mostly use gets enhanced. I still have this on though, which I don't like because it's basically just blocking a slot to get a few points of extra damage in instead of being something useful like slowly restoring hit points. We're going back to that one. It's still better, okay. We're just going back to the constantly restoring one. Okay, that stuff is upgraded. And I think we want to continue with... Uh, I'm going to test the two renowned ashes in the one place where I know that I'll always be able to spawn guys in at the gate front. I mean, you saw the other guy. I can also show you Banish Knight Engvil. That's the guy. That's the guy who uh, was with me in that room that we were... Okay. Okay, he does his bullshit wind swing stuff. That's nice. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna check him out more. Hmm, okay. Uh, he almost died, but we full cleared the camp. I think I like him. I think I like him. I think we'll upgrade him. I'm only thinking about that because I know I have enough uh, ghost glove words to upgrade multiples. Apparently, Lutal is worth more runes to upgrade, meaning that the game considers him to be better. The problem is he like he like teleported away and tried chucking uh, spears at the enemies, which made them de-aggro and aggro to me instead, and that's not good. So we're taking Banished Knight Angle plus one plus two. And we could also take him to plus three, but we only have uh, one ghost glove worth three here. Okay. But we have him at plus two, meaning that these can be exchanged for anvil. Okay. Good. Uh, with the rest, I'm buying arrows or something similar to that. And I'm seeing you back in business. Okay. Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Let's go. I've seen guys like you before and I am not amused to see you here. Are you still that? Okay. My weapon does repel of him, of his... of his shell. Unless I two-hand. Okay. We've seen guys like him. Are they that easy now or is this a, a weaker version of them? Some somber smelling stones. Is that an item behind? Looks like an item behind. That's the reward that's better than the reward in front. I forgot to off upgrade my, my offhand equipment. The Cypher Pata. I don't like the crack crystals. I, I'd like something better. Okay. Crystal tunnel. Okay. These feel like the same enemies that we saw in the Celia crystal mine. But I haven't seen any of the weird ranged guys yet that were so overly powerful. And they're freaking mine crack crystals. Could you please give me smithing stones? I mean, at least the message th said that the rewards from the boss are good. I would like to not be hit by that. Thank you. Smithing stone twos. Okay, we can use that to get that item. I get that. The 
Digger's Staff. We'll look at that in a second. Because that's the thing they used to laser uh, the crystals out of the uh, cave walls. So doesn't look too bad. Could be an actual weapon and not a staff. Ah, that's the one of them was uh, carrying sword saucer. Carrying glintstone staff is the staff we found in the, the carrion tower at the beginning of the episode. Given to sorcerers that they might might enact the role of knight. Enhances carrion sword sorceries. That is probably all the illusory sword uh, stuff that we know from other games. Why is it always jumping? All the more visions of death. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. That doesn't look good. Why, you fucking asshole, did you jump? I pressed the button and then slipped off the ledge. That's the way I uh, saw that, but probably it was the other way around. At least that's how the game saw it. Okay. <clears throat> he probably aggros, so we should take him out right. Do you aggro? Nope. Okay, there's only one guy being active around here. The others are just mining their own business. They still draw blindstone scrap every now and then, which is great. And yes, I, I got another digger staff. And I didn't even look at the digger staff saying to go when I tried looking at it. Freaking hell, what are you doing, Joe? The digger staff. Where would it be? Down there. I just didn't look at it. Who's stone digger? There's stone digger sorceries. The staff itself is a tool to use to mine, and the ferrule is also embedded with the glintstone. I assume stone digger sorceries is the stones that you can throw at enemies that create sorcery from them, the faux sorcery as they were called. Push it. Equip load. Equip load jumping distance. Hasn't been a th thing since Dark Souls 2. I think. Or was it a thing in Dark Souls 3 also? I just remember that one uh, thing very close to the beginning of Dark Souls 2 in the Forest of Fallen Giants where you can jump to that one ledge but you basically can only do that on very low equip load. I don't think you have to be fast rolling, but you have to be like below like 35% or something like that for that one. Because it had like Dark Souls 2 had a, had a thing going where it was like scaling all the way. Like uh, the, the jump distance. And every time we make it back to our stuff, there's 800 more runes to pick up. Isn't that nice? I did it, it said. Okay. Yep, jump distance, smithing stone 3. What did the message say? I did it. I did it, oh I did it. Somber smithing stone 3, okay. 
Are you bullshitting me? There's a boss fight down there. That's only 2.6k souls. Runes. We won't take them back. We'll just be on our way. I should have ran, run jumped. And that just should have been my the answer to the first thing also. Medium, medium. Fine. Good. Okay. The problem is this mine doesn't give me the upgrades that I want. Which is not nice. I wanted upgrade upgrades. It's weird that he dropped two staves. Okay. This is a shortcut elevator. Let's go deeper in. Let's look over the edge and see whether we can drop down to stuff. Nah, that's way too far down. Inside the shaft, maybe? Yeah, no. Message ad. Contraption doesn't move. Yes, of course. It's a shortcut elevator. Why do you have to press that away with A when every other when interacting in this game is also always Y? Be wary of mage. I assume the left guy is a mage. Or something that's behind me. I see a mage coming or something that looks like one. And I don't like the fucking permastern! Like he had to do 24 hits to kill me or something like that? And he perma stunned me into all of them. Okay, great. I'm in a great mood today to continue playing. Not. Wasn't a playing mood today at all, but I had to record. Well, let's just run through and ignore all the guys who are just minding their own business. Some of you are weird. I mean, I'm at my source like in less than five minutes. Great. Okay, these two actually stand stood up. So they were actually aggroing. We just need to properly take care of that bastard over there. This time I didn't let him throw. Thank you, lock on system. Good. Lot of cave weight to go. I see an elevator. Try left hidden path ahead. Yeah, of course. This one doesn't go up though. Yeah. Wanna unlock shortcut first. I mean, if there's a place to unlock shortcut, it would be downstairs. I think. Okay, he got a smithing stone three. And a smithing stone three. Yeah, you. I'm not going in a mine and trying to break through the walls. They tried that for ages. And they didn't go through the wall yet, so 
the wall should be pretty safe from going through it. Like, how would uh, an illusory wall thing even exist in a cave like this, where they are uh, battering the walls all the time? Smithing stone three. Stone one three. Okay, only way to go is elevator. Um, secret passage. Yeah, looks like it. Okay. Precious item. Okay, we're in, in the big cave again. Down ahead. And we need to jump down here. Okay. Keep that in mind. For when we reach downstairs. Because then we can take the elevator back up and get to it. Raise the ramp. What? The what? You need to explain yourself to me better messages. Okay, this looks like where we would have landed had we gone all the way down. I assume shortcut elevator will be over there, okay. Okay, let's take the hidden path. Put some puts. Oh my god. Okay. So They said precious item at and it was like a, a normal smithing stone too. So I assume the precious item is this one. So my smithing stone three. Okay. How do we continue down? Didn't expect life. Try jumping. He didn't expect to survive that when he dropped down here, but he did. So that's what we're gonna try. Okay, and we were, we have arrived down here. It's one of those again. Try bow. Sounds like a good idea, man. Just keep your health. Nine of sight. Okay, that guy. I missed him. I'm pre-aiming too much. I missed him by shooting through his hands. Thank you, message. That's our shortcut elevator over there. Oh, man, did I send it back up? Come on, elevator. I think. I think. Let's run, grab souls, activate shortcut elevator, return downstairs, and put fucking bullshit item away. I mean, we'll still kill all the guys that move here because they don't want to follow me. Them want them to follow the, me down. 
Wow. Zero stagger potential, man. Okay. They were freaking slow normally. So let's just freaking ignore them. And hope that I left the elevator here. Yep. I mean, these, we don't need another shortcut elevator then. Because th there's no danger over there. Thank you for falling on my head. That surprised me. Boy. You spoke, fuckhead. Unless you can aim, like with the bow, you can aim downstairs, and that's where the boss fight arena is. Then, of course, you're right to use the bow there. I'll be looking at that in a second. Shortcut elevator? Ladder ahead. Time for shortcut. Yeah, let's send that back up. Shortcut activated, a lot of smithing stones. We could upgrade. We could upgrade our seal. So, but let's look down. Yeah, that's the boss fight down there. What I assume will be the boss fight. Okay. Let's go this way. Two ways to go. Oh no, fuck hats. Really? Four-armed fuckheads. Okay. Do you die? No. Still not. I upgraded since I last used one, one of these spells on you. It's freaking fuckheads. Why? They might be hanging everywhere now that I saw them hanging there. Smilling stones. Meh. As if. They're banging on the walls here than they've been for centuries. That's how we continue over there. There's two glintstone sorcerers. Trying to... Yes, there's one above me. Run in the other corner? No. Are oh, these are the same guys? Formed mage fuckers. It didn't do the thing when I pressed left bumper. Drop your item. Kaku Glintstone. That's the things you had in your hands. Trap chest? No trap. A crystal knife. Uh, um, why would every, anyone want to use this? Because it scales with intelligence. Used as a tool to extract Glintstone from broken rock and as such a faint magic unwreaths the, bra uh, the blade. Yeah, we had to sing a similar one uh, for faith. Your steel dagger. Like, that's for guys who want to attack fast very often but not do much damage. And I can see why you won't want to do that. But I'm not good at that at all. Okay. Sadly, I must stop my recording now. But I'm gonna see you tomorrow with more exploration of uh, the freaking cave we're in.
Rhea, Lucaria, Crystal Tunnel. Have a nice day and see you with that. <laughs>